All right, what's up, guys? Cody here, bringing you my Final Fantasy VII 25th anniversary celebration broadcast predictions. Um, got a lot to go over in this video, so I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible. Um, first things first, we have this article from Silicon Era. Obviously, we have the tweets going live everywhere. So it's June 16th at 6 o'clock Eastern time, so it'll be 5 Central for me. Um, I will be going live over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash fun Cody before uh, the event goes live. Probably just play some First Soldier. Um, and just talk with chat, things like that. Um, but we have this article here, like I said, Final Fantasy VII 25th Anniversary Celebration Broadcast. <clears throat> and uh, people are going to learn more about the future of Final Fantasy VII. Square Enix announced that the Final Fantasy VII 25th Anniversary Collaboration Celebration... Collab so, too many abrasions. Celebration Broadcast. Um, the company promised details would appear in June 2022, which we know was from the first Soldier stream where we got to see a little glimpse of Ever Crisis and Katasi and Nomura had that statement saying uh, in June we would get another update. And so this is it. Uh, it'll be on YouTube on both the Square Enix and the Final Fantasy page. So like obviously they have a link here. So if you guys want to notify that or bookmark it or whatever you want to do there. Um, and then here's the official statement from Tetsuya Nomura that he tweeted out on the over on the remake Twitter. He said, We will be streaming Final Fantasy VII 25th anniversary celebration at only around 10 minutes long. It will be short and sweet, but we have packed in lots of information, so I hope everyone can look forward to this, to the unveiling. Like I said, Tetsuya Nomura. Uh, a lot of people are freaking out over the part of the unveiling. Um, mainly, I didn't mean to open that, but... <clears throat> Uh, mainly because it's, we think it might be something we haven't seen yet. Um, so yeah, and then it says the 25th anniversary celebration stream. Could be a number of FF7 announcements come come up. For example, the FF7 Ever Crisis mobile game is expected this year. A new trademark was also filed for FF7 remake. Um, now here is where I I will talk about what I think will be there and what I I'm almost 100% sure will be there. So first things first. Obviously, First Soldier is going to be there. Um, they've already re-announced that the collaboration items are back. They're already back in the game right now. So if you want to pull for like these Polygon skins, once again, um, they are available now. You get a couple free entries on login, so you can pull for all of the FF7 characters that were released in their Polygon forms right now. Uh, I think they did this just to hype up the 25th anniversary, honestly. But I do think we, they will show off some of these skins again in the trailer. Um... The, the other thing they're probably going to talk about is Season 3. Season 3 just dropped at the beginning of this month, uh, less than two weeks ago. Highway Star, obviously. And it features the brand new Midgar plate side map. They're probably going to talk about this. They might just straight up show the Season 3 trailer. That's probably the best way they could go about it. Um, and then kind of transfer that in and talk about these here. Um, and then the last thing they might touch on, but I'm not sure because it's only... Uh, on the JP side for now, but they have announced official tournaments. Um, the first soldier championship, like it says here on the NA page, says recruitment details for North America tournament coming soon. Um, so because it's only on the JP side, I don't think they'll talk about this. They might just show like a screenshot saying this, like tournament information coming soon or something like that. Um, but that's probably just about it that we'll get for, as far as first soldier goes, they'll talk about the 25th anniversary, talk about season three and maybe touch on tournaments. Um, and then next thing I'm almost certain will be there, uh, will be Ever Crisis. Uh, I think Ever Crisis almost has to be here at this event. We haven't seen anything for Ever Crisis outside of that short cinematic trailer, which was way back before Season 2 dropped, and it was on a First Soldier livestream that Katase was featured in, and I believe Nomura was in the background talking in. Um, yeah, I think we'll definitely get a ton more of Ever Crisis. Um, I expect to get more in-game footage from across all of the titles. I think we'll get our first glimpse of Before Crisis, Advent Children, as well as... Uh, what other one have we seen? We've seen OG, we've seen Crisis Core. We haven't seen Advent Children, we haven't seen Before Crisis. Um, yeah, I think I think we'll get to see all of that. Um, more detail, more fleshed out, more characters, more... You know, more everything. Um... And then maybe some more like iconic moments from the games. Um, probably nothing outside of Midgar when it comes to FF7, but with the other t the other titles, you know, who knows what they could show. And then I actually think that we are going to get a release date on that day, on June 16th. I think they're just going to like shadow drop it. I think is what everybody calls it. Um, 
and just have it at the end be like, hey, Ever Crisis is available now for download. Uh, I think that's a good way to transition the hype from this event into downloads for that game. Uh, if they don't, I think we'll at least get a firm release date. We do know what's due by September, according to uh, the fiscal reports of the company that is like the third party that's helping work on it outside of Square Enix. Um, and outside of Ever Crisis, I do think we are going to get something for Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two. I think we're going to get a cinematic trailer. I don't think we're going to get a release window or a release date. We might get something that's like along the lines of, you know, more information holiday 2022 or more information know, spring 2023. I think they'll give us one of those or more news to come at this event or that event, um, depending on what the next event is. Um, but I do think we will get a cinematic trailer. I think you need something. This can't just be the Final Fantasy VII 25th anniversary celebration and not have something special. Um, especially with all the all the names that are talking about this right now. We have tons of the voice actors from the games. Um, we have Square Enix like social media managers across platforms. Just everybody's tweeting this out and they want us to share our reactions using hashtag Final Fantasy VII 25th anniversary. So I can't imagine they would want to disappoint us after like encouraging us to share our reactions because it would just give them such a bad look if it ends up being nothing um and then there were some rumors that a guy had heard that there was another big company that's going to be featured during this some people are speculating netflix some people are speculating sony xbox i'm not really sure um if i could hope for something i would love to see like another anime uh in the, in the realm of ff7 but you know that's kind of just wishful thinking at this point uh, but it would be cool to see. Uh, and then one last thing that I think we'll see. So I think it's going to end on the FF7 um, cinematic trailer. With like more news to come or something like that. Um, but then I think we're, we might also get a new merch line. Um, because as you can see here we have some uh, some tweets from Audrey. We have a brand new Square Enix cafe that opened. Um, she shared a bunch of a ton of photos. She went over like all the meals and drinks from this. A lot of cool stuff. Obviously, a lot of Crisis Core art here, which is super cool to see. Um, but there's just tons and tons of art. They have, like, a Buster Sword on display, screenshots from all the games. They have, like, coasters and drinks and everything's just inspired by Final Fantasy. Uh, like you see here, we have the world map of Gaia. Placemats, coasters, like I said. There's pins. There's stir sticks. There's everything. It all looks really cool. Um... And there is a merch display, which I don't know if I can find the picture of it right now. But there actually is some merch for sale. No, it's not in this image. She took like a million pictures. Shout out to Audrey for all these photos, by the way. Like, here's some more of the merch, like the stir stick things. Uh, this is, I believe, a plate. Um, and then, like, stickers. Uh, but there is... Uh, a t-shirt design with this logo on it so maybe they'll drop that on the square enix store i think that would be a good idea um obviously we don't usually get a whole lot of shirts when it comes to final fantasy wise um so i'd, I'd love to be able to pick up a couple of those um but yeah that's what that's what i think we're gonna get i think it's gonna open up with a little like collaboration going over like you know showing scenes and and images from all of the uh compilation and then i think they're gonna go into the mobile stuff i think they're gonna talk about probably first soldier first because that's like the most obvious one before they get to the good stuff probably do ever crisis next go over that and give us a release date and then do maybe the merch in between those two and then wrap it up with the ff7 part two cinematic trailer those are my predictions um i know it's a lot we got our clown makeup ready um but i think this is going to be a good one i don't i don't think they're going to let us down um they killed it on state of play um, and there's a lot of people that are pretty disappointed in the things that were shown at like Summer Games Fest. Um, so this is this is a great way to get people um, focused on you, uh, you Square Enix. I'm talking to you directly. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. We'll go live once again, guys. Twitch.tv forward slash Fun Cody. The link is down below. We'll be live before the event and after the event, talking about all of the news that hopefully gets released. Hopefully we get Ever Crisis. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys like this video and you guys want to see more of them, be sure to drop a like on this, subscribe if you haven't, or if you're new to the channel, I upload daily Final Fantasy content, and the best way to see it all first is a subscription. And we will see you guys on June 16th.